Hey guys, welcome back. So a friend of mine asked me if I can create a Vespa logo and 3D print it. And I say, why not? So let's get started. Let's press all W and let's go to plane, create a simple plane. And then let's go to M material. And then we'll go to, doesn't matter what, uh, diffuse and press on diffuse go to bitman and let's go to desktop where I have my logo and drag it and drop it on the plane and let's go show material in viewport now let's go and add our UV map let's go for bitman fit and bring back the logo like this and now let's go to Gizmo, press E to go in uh, rotate and then let's go to angle snap and uh, let's rotate it to 90 degree something like this and now press R to scale and let's scale it up okay, let's close the material I think we are good first thing that I forgot to do is to go to unit setup and this should be millimeter and this one the same so press ok and let's go here let's move it uh, slightly down right click object properties uncheck shows of shows of very good sorry uncheck show frozen in gray uh, check back face call and let's freeze this object press T to go in the top F F3 press G and then let's go to splines and select the line so let's make a quick line roughly does not need to be that perfect a few points here and there I know that this V section is too small and I will make it thicker later because if not on 3D printer it will break up on your hands because it's too uh, sensible so let's finish up the big shapes by pressing the small rotate from the mouse you will paint it and do not lose your spline close spline and let's create the inner ones so let's go for this one Yes. Let's select this one and Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Press copy and drag it over here. And we have one more to do. Oh no, two. Two more to do. If I can find this one, that would be great. 
Oh my god. What the heck? That was weird. Doesn't matter. And one more to go. Great. Now let's select one line and let's go to attach multiply select ctrl a select all and we have just one spline now let's select this one let's select vertex ctrl a first thing right click and let's smooth them all and then right click again and let's add bevier select this one scale it down We can scale this one down. I think you got the idea. I really need to take a mouse. I really need to buy a mouse that does not make such noises. So I'm going to speed up this video, you got the idea, so see you when I'm making the next step. Now that I've done with uh, preparing the spline, I want to do one more thing. So I'm going to go to vertex and let's move this to the right a bit because this space it's a bit too thin and it will be break up when I'm going to play with it. So next step, I'm going to go to X form and reset X form, right click and cover to the poly. And then you can go to bevel, I, ho I have it over here, you can go to modify this and let's apply bevel. Because I already planned I have this 10, the height, but this is the default, so Alt Q. And then let's go and bring up the 10. Okay, great. Now let's go to uh, level 2. And we can play with the height, so let's go for one. Press F4 to see. I think it's too big, so let's go to 0 0.4. 
and then let's bring this 0 0.5 but I'm going to set it on minus it's a bit too strong let's see 0.3 f4 I think we are there now we can go and add an edit poly press F and let's select one edge alt R and let's press connect select vertex let's delete the bottom we keep the top one with the bevel and then let's go and add symmetry I don't have the symmetry on shortcut so I need to add it let's go to S add symmetry let's uh, go to Z we don't need to flip let's press mirror F again and bring this up F4 what I want to do is to put one zero B uh, in front of the one, something like this. As you can see, the interior is not connected, so we can go to Edit Poly. Let's go to Border, select everything, and then let's deselect the big one. Uh, this one so I need to deselect this one press F F3 and by pressing shift we will bring down the interior we can go like this and select the vertex and let's press R and then just drag I'm not sure if you can see we just drag the Z down and you will see that everything is will be perfectly arranged so control Z bring it down until everything is flat perfect now let's uh, close this one and let's go back to symmetry I think that it's way better Okay, we can go and select Affect Pivot Center. Don't forget to Ctrl S to save. And then we can uh, go back to, let's go to Modify X Form, right click and Edit Poly. And now I'm going to use a simple plane. So I'm going to use simple plane. And depending on your uh, size, you can set, let's set it to 5, or I know, maybe it's too small, 7, and then just scale it down, like this, let's delete this one, and let's apply again the X form, right click, edit poly now simple as that I'm going to go export desktop and let's go to SCL or OBJ doesn't matter for now I already have it Vespa let's go with that press yes press ok and now I'm going to bring up my slicer uh, the slicer is a free software also, you will have slices for Prusa if you use Prusa that uh, use it default settings that you can choose from here, the details, etc. I'm going to go for this one, and also it's set for Prusa uh, Pele. So, but you can find it for free on internet. You can download it. So I'm going to bring up my model. Let's go to desktop and bring up. Vespa, pretty cool. I'm not gonna change a lot of things because I already said that my Pusa is 
uh, already set so I know that I do not need the support for this one so it will be pretty simple I'm going to go to print settings and then if I want more detail I'm going to set for 0 0.03 but I think I'm going to go big mm, let's go like this and then I'm going to keep everything going to infill and for infill I want everything full so 100% uh, I'm going to press yes because uh, the cubic infill is not supported so we're going to change to rectilinear uh, I'm going to keep everything like this I do not need support filament it will be set by default for Prusa and let's go to uh, plater and go to slice now and then I'm going to go to preview and easy as that I will have the preview of Vespa and now I'm going to export G code and I'm going to call it Vespa so that's it for now I'm going to move to my 3D printer and I'm going to make some time-lapse thank you for watching and see you next time take care